What up, best fam? It's your boy Thursday Lynch back here with another mother freaking video. So, first of all, I want to tell y'all, S fam, happy, super motivated Saturday. Super Saturday, y'all. So, I got up this morning, right? Got up this morning. Wifey made some eggs, but wifey's on her way out right now. So, I got to make this video quick, all right? Couple things, S fam. Couple things. I want to give a big, big shout out. Well, first, let's back up a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. So, I know about. Two weeks ago, I think it was, SFAM, that I asked y'all if y'all would mind me doing a live stream reaction. Bruh, I really need to conduct some hygiene, man. I do. Haircut and all that. So, I asked y'all, I think it was two weeks ago or something like that, if y'all would watch a live stream reaction with me. And it's going to be like an hour long, something like that. I think we're going to be reacting to the Navy boot camp or something like that. Um... I want to do that, SFAM, next Saturday. Not this Saturday, next Saturday. So, let me see what day it'll actually be. I want to do it on June 6th. June 6th, Saturday, okay? So, maybe around noontime or something like that. Or maybe around, I don't know, 1400-ish. Maybe we'll do that, okay? But I had another great idea. I was going to start it this morning. But I want to give y'all some time to get in there on that, too. I want to do, SFAM, a super... I guess you call it super, a super Saturday morning stream, a Saturday. So next Saturday is going to be Saturday stream day. It's going to be streaming Saturday, next Saturday, right? I want to do the live stream reaction to the Navy boot camp, right? I want to do live stream reaction to the Navy boot camp. And I also want to do a early morning breakfast stream, stream Saturday, S fam breakfast stream Saturday morning. And also I want to do the Navy boot camp live stream reaction. The hour long live stream is supposed to be. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. I don't know, SFAM. I feel like it's gonna be crazy. But anyway, I wanna thank y'all for coming to my page today. Comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It's your first time. Super fam is up in the building. Super fam, y'all know I appreciate y'all to death. My most motivated, my most motivated supporters. Appreciate y'all, man. Hit that blue join button to join the super fam. Support your boy a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and get into it today. I gotta give a big, big shout out. I apologize if I butcher your name. It's Marcelo's. I'm gonna say his last name is Cagri. We're just gonna call him Marcelo. Wanna give a big, big shout out to Marcelo this morning for hooking us up with the S Fam React. Now, Marcelo, you're asking me to react to Vet TV, right? Y'all know this is Angry Cops TV show. It's his TV show. So I'm I'm not gonna doubt at all. I am not gonna doubt that I'm gonna get some kind of copyright notice or something for this freaking video. We're going to see how it goes, SFAM. We're going to see how it goes, all right? But I want to check one out. I've only seen one, one of his freaking episodes of something, his time at the gate or something like that. I don't know. They was at, they was at the gate. It was a uh, access control point or something like that. So anyway, we're going to get into it. SFAM salute. Stay folks motivated. Get motivated up in this J1 time. Let's go. So SFAM, this is Planet Service, the parody of Planet Earth, right? This is Vet TV. It says this is full episode. I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and get into it. I hope I don't get no copyright. Hey, but we're going to try it and see what happens. Y'all ready? Let's go. Uh, our home. Dominated by the most convoluted creature in the animal kingdom. Yet none more fascinating than those who answer the call for military service. I would have liked it. I would have liked it if they would have, you know, if they would have been able to get like Morgan Freeman, because I feel like Morgan Freeman is the one who does like the, the earth, you know what I'm saying? That would have been crazy. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Not bad. Let's go. With little sense of purpose in their life, these creatures will find inspiration to protect and defend their own shit from themselves their own selves their own from themselves their own selves when we consider life of military service it has given breath and taken away life for so many on this planet we often do not take the time to honor these creatures that protect our world join us as we embark on a journey of planet service. Although the Earth is mostly water, American forces have chosen to fight on one-fifth of the land on Earth. 
Deserts are of most crucial importance. Dude's to our digging nation. in his nose, man. Despite the extreme hatred of these harsh environments, the Marines have learned to thrive. What Even establishing a base in a place of almost unimaginable emptiness. These barracks appear to be lifeless, but surprisingly, none are. I would imagine we're getting ready to get into the. As the desert encroaches within these holes, to the funny the stuff. The Marines have found clever ways to adapt. Here we go. I know the Marines are about to be freaking crazy with this, man. Look at him. With not in training or combat, the Marines spend most of their time doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. What the heck is going on? So, I thought something crazy was going to happen. Like, they were going to jump out and start running all around, you know, in the freaking barracks or something. But, it's got to be a weekend or something, bro. This, look what we got going on. I know y'all heard them noises, right? Wow. All right. Let's keep it moving. They stand by. They stand by. This don't make no sense, bro. What is he doing under the freaking bed? What is he doing, bro? He comes to his senior's aid without hesitation. It reminds me of like, <laughs> Meerkat Manor, where the meerkats come out of the ground for the day. <laughs> In the beginning, they were sweeping and cleaning up the area. That's the first thing they do, man. Let's go, let's go. Why do they have pink controllers? It's Friday night, and the Marines are thirsty. He looks like a little boy. Look at him, bruh. He looks like he's like 10 years old. He don't belong in the freaking barracks with the Marines. They about to mess him up or something, bruh. Let's go. Jack Daniels is the preferred beverage of the Marine. It's an empty bottle. Why are you carrying around an empty bottle? But payday isn't for another week. Pops Blue Ribbon will have to do. <laughs> He's mixing his uniform. Why is he mixing his uniform? You got civilians mixed. Their choice of beer is crazy too. Man. I don't know. I don't really like Pops Blue Ribbon. That's just me. I don't know. Keep it moving. Although this Marine is still on duty. In just a He's getting down. Average, will help him cope with having duty on a Friday night. He's getting down while he's on duty. It's by the way, willing to take. by the way, I have never seen anything in the regulation where it says you cannot, have, and I'm not promoting y'all, anybody to do anything that's wrong. I'm just saying. It doesn't say that you can't have a drink. I don't know. I may have to look it up if it says no drinking while in uniform, but... I know that it's illegal to be drunk on duty. I gotta look that up to make sure. Let's keep it moving. He's nervous. Integrity. Good reason. Integrity. Look. An officer watches from a distance. That's an LT. Complacent Marines are his preferred prey. He approaches quietly. This don't make no sense, man. Oh! Their fight or flight response. And this marine has sounded the alarm for the rest of the pack. He already caught y'all, bruh. Successful hunt. How was that unsuccessful? He's seen him. He's seen him, bruh. Let's go, man. Fails attempt puts other marines at risk. In this desert, everyone is in danger. Marines hone their skills and clean their rifles <laughs> with extreme detail. This narration is freaking funny, man. It's freaking funny. <coughs> Let's go, man. A walk. 
The Marines are powerless to her presence. They begin their mating call ritual to establish dominance. That's the main call. <laughs> She's not even paying any attention. She's not impressed. He threw his weapon down in front of her. Now he's going in for the kill. Look. Left his weapon unsecured, not within arm's reach. To remain incognito, the officer lurks in the note cover, no salute biome. An unattended rifle is the perfect Got him. for an ass chewing. Whose weapon is this? A flock of blue falcons sacrifice one of their own. Hey, really? huh? Oh, Where's your weapon? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, 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 no uh, salute? There, no nothing? Uh, yes, sir. Huh? Yeah, sorry. I'm cleaning your weapon, huh? Clean your uh, weapon. Now you're fucking thirsty? Well, I'll fucking... The Marine is an embarrassment to himself and his squad. Sorry, I'll talk to you later. You're about to dust him off! The Wook records everything. It will make quality content to post in Drinkin' Rose. Drinkin' <laughs> Drinkin' Rose! <laughs> Gone to setting sun, the Marines pride themselves as being amphibious warriors. Capable of fighting in any clime and place. So they about to go in there and throw hands because he left his weapon unsecured? Oh, he's thirsty, right? He was thirsty. You was thirsty, right? <laughs> However, true amphibious warriors of this planet are the hardest to find. There was pee in there, bro. While the frogman seeks his next book deal, the rest of the species sleeps soundly on the open seas. Or do they? With no port visit in sight, the sailors struggle to maintain their sanity. So now they're on the ship. is the furthest thing from their minds. Hey, I'm running dry. Running dry on what? Come on, bruh. But one male has gotten lucky. He snagged himself a boat home. Oh, fuck yeah. Four months out to sea and with little contact with the vagina, the mating process will not last long. There was a female in there, bruh! This sailor is rudely awakened from his slumber by the call of his superior. He appears to have hit his head, earning himself the <laughs> dreaded mark of shame. The senior male in the birthing has had enough. Yo, you fucking semen, I'm trying to get some fucking sleep! Keep it down, fuckers, you shit! Jesus! Elsewhere on the boat, a naval officer faces his own struggles with sleep. What the he heck? He about whether he should order the filet mignon or lobster tail during tomorrow's evening hour. What are they doing? A difficult choice. The filet it is. As it is a different kind of tail this officer seeks. He loved nothing more than to stay in bed. But he must prepare for another day of harassing the enlisted. This don't make no sense, bruh. Can I take your laundry, sir? Indeed. The enlisted must. Why? I know what they're trying to say. Why, bruh? Oh, my freaking goodness. Let's keep it moving, y'all. Be careful. It could be a penis flytrap. Oh or my goodness. Variety. One wrong move could change the enlisted sexual preference forever. <laughs> Finally, the day arrives. The sailors return from a grueling deployment, having a Your boot laces! Your freaking boot look! Look at that boot lace! Look at that. You better fix that freaking boot lace right now. Let's go. Follows in the title of Shellbank. Their marathon migration has left them starving and exhausted. They return to their traditional breeding grounds. Land ho. Ho's indeed. Oh my the freaking goodness. look forward to the impending alcohol-fueled mating season. That's all they're concerned so about is the mating season. Back on land, they must take a claim to a nesting patch. Some choose to seek a nesting patch. At the local strip clubs <laughs> and massage parlor. What are they doing, bruh? This narration is freaking crazy, man. Let's freaking go, yo. Others instinctively return to the same nesting patch. But some find that it is not the same as they left it. 
ten months is <laughs> others return forever changed forged by the sea. that don't make no <laughs> sense bro come on the den is common to these dwellings about to do the army now this defender incubates in her cocoon when food becomes suddenly plentiful she devours everything in her path she has now pupated into a full-blown triceratops. <laughs> hey, this is back from Afghanistan. Why didn't they go meet him? Daddy's home. Is that not Daddy? Daddy's in the bedroom. <sighs> Bruh, hold on a second. I'd be so mad. Listen. Listen to this, bro. Hey, this is back from Afghanistan. Look, Daddy. Look at the look on her face. Home. You know she's. Is that not Daddy? Daddy's in the bedroom. He did. This don't make no freaking sense, bro. Look at her. Look at her. A daring escape. The young soldier has managed to cheat certain death as he flees the nest. I'd be Afghanistan pissed, bro. Afghanistan is a much safer environment for Jody. For Jody? Much like the Marines in 29 Palms, these soldiers have adapted to the harsh conditions. They use science to cool down their water to room temperature when refrigeration is not an option. That's They're crazy. For their next op, as dehydration is a silent killer of the dunes. I never knew that. It makes sense, though. They've been outside the wire for days. They've taken contact casualties in our lair. You better button up that ACH right freaking now, you. Button it up. Go on Let's fluids. go. Portable okay. water is a delicacy in this environment. Got to correct them. Supply is scarce. Got to correct them deficiencies. Come on, bro. What? Scouts. Often mistaken for infantry, they actually just have really cool hats. The ultimate peacock of the front lines. They don't make no freaking sense. What are they doing, bro? More kills than any cab scout. We have a drone operator. I know it's gonna be copyright on this music, man. The airman concentrates. Weeks of training with the gunship kill streak from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Almost. <laughs> course. That's why they joke that they be calling them the video gamers, bruh. They be calling them video game pilot. But this is cool, though. I love this right here, bruh. Let's check this out. That's paid off. That's freaking awesome, bruh. It's been a long day of bloodshed. The Ammon reflects on all of the people he's killed half the world away. An ID maker and his family are no more. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. He takes satisfaction in knowing that he's saved troops on the ground. White Claw? A good night for fornication. Who's he gonna fornicate with? It is made. He must acquire tampons prior to their evening rendezvous. Why? The bar. It's a scene where professional veterans gloat about their service in an attempt to be the dominant civilian. It's nothing more than a dick measuring contest as they compete for the trashiest of bartenders. It don't make no sense, man. The Ghost Guard veteran does not participate. He doesn't even, he's he not even. His dick is biggest. <laughs> he's jumped out of helicopters rescuing drowning civilians. He's secured mountains of cocaine, taken down drug lords at sea, hijacked submarines from a moving boat. I mean, Jesus, that's pretty fucking badass. The true quiet professional. That don't make no freaking sense, bruh. Still got a little Thank bit more you left? For your service. You're welcome. Take care. I love the title of this book right here. 
So Big Drill Sergeant, before he became Big Drill Sergeant, had to go do some training in freaking Fort Campbell, right? Did some training over there. We had a specific instructor that I, I will call me an instructor. He was an instructor or, or more like a facilitator, but he would always give us these stories. He'd always give us these stories and he'd always start with this. He'd always start with that title. <laughs> Let's keep it moving, y'all. All right, so I wonder if there's anything at the end. Scrolling. Okay, nothing at the end. So once again, y'all gotta give a big, big shout out to Marcelo. We'll call him Marcelo. I can't say your last name, man. Sorry about that. But uh, once again, that's fam. Just want to keep y'all in mind. Next Saturday, I I will put out a time or something, and I'll make sure the live stream is freaking posted long enough to notify y'all. But next Saturday, we're gonna do. Uh, S fam breakfast. Well, I'm just gonna do a live stream. Me and the wifey eating breakfast. She's gonna make us some pancake and eggs and uh, some bacon or something like that. We'll do an early morning live stream. Then later on that day, that Saturday, next Saturday, six June six, we're gonna do the uh, live stream reaction to the Navy boot camp. All right. Hey, S fam owner, thank y'all so much for rocking with your boy. S fam, stand up, say folks, motivate, get motivated up in this jank. One time. Thank you again, Marcelo for freaking requesting that. I hope it don't hit me with a bunch of copyright. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, S-Fam, y'all have a great, great, super freaking super Saturday. Deuces, I'm out of here. I'm going to holler at y'all.